Hi, I'm Drew Kojak, Executive Director of the International Council on Clean Transportation. This video is part of a six-part series on how to decarbonize the global transportation sector. Our focus here is on electric vehicles. Today, electric cars make up about 2% of the global passenger car sales. If we are to effectively address climate change, sales of electric cars will need to reach 35% of the global market in 2030 with higher levels in the United States and Europe and China. As I mentioned in our first video, we're relatively optimistic about the pace of vehicle electrification. Our first reason for optimism is that 2020 was a banner year in Europe, where sales of electric cars jumped from 3% in 2019 all the way up to 12% in September of 2020. This rate of change puts Europe on course to exceed our sales target for the region in 2030. The second reason for optimism is that by 2025, global automakers have announced hundreds of new electric vehicle models, 20 billion in investments, and 15 million electric vehicle sales in that year. The third reason for optimism is that the cost of electric vehicles is falling rapidly. Over the last decade, the cost of batteries used to power electric vehicles has fallen by nearly 90%. And as a result, we project that EV sales will reach cost parity with gas-powered counterparts by around 2025. Eventually, electric vehicles will be cheaper than conventional cars. I'll end this video with a cautionary note. Optimism should not lead to complacency. And those policies, tax breaks for consumers, sales quotas for car makers, public-private investments in charging infrastructure, and efforts to inform consumers about the availability and the benefits of electric vehicles, all of those policies will need to continue if we're going to effectively reach our climate change goal.